Hello everyone, today I'm going to walk you through the installation and setting of Gaussian computational program on a Linux machine. This tutorial is designed for a CentOS machine. The version I have is CentOS 8 on a virtual box, but uh, I have done it on ROC6 cluster and uh, it works perfectly. Small detail before we start, uh, so I am currently logged as root. But if you have a sudoing user, you can also do it. Just remember to add sudo command before every step. So this tutorial is divided in 14 very simple steps that will get you to run Gaussian on your Linux machine. I will be installing Gaussian 09 revision D, but it works for all Gaussian 09 and Gaussian 16 versions. Just remember to change all of the 09 by 16 in the comments if you want Gaussian 16. So let's jump into it. The first step for the installation of Gaussian is to check if your processes are compatible with the Gaussian version you're trying to install. Depending on their age, processors can only read specific sets of instructions and you have to make sure that the Gaussian version you're installing writes its instruction in the same language. To check this, you read the file called CPU info that is in the proc folder. So you type more proc CPU info. This will show you in the section flag. You can see all of the sets of instructions that your processors can read and check that your version is compatible. For example, Gaussian 16 currently works on legacy. It works on SSC4, so for, sorry, you can see SSC4 here, AVX and AVX2. AVX2 is here, AVX is here. So it means that uh, on my computer here, the Gaussian version I have can run. So now we can start the, the proper installation. So the second step is to create a new group that will own Gaussian on your computer. So you add a group by tapping group add, followed by the name of the group you want. So for me, G09. Here it says that I already have it because I already done the installation. Remember to add sudo if you are not running from root. Then the third step is adding the user of the computer to the group by typing user mode ag, the name of the group you want and the name of your user you want to add. Then once it's done, we go to the fourth step. The fourth step is to create your installation folder so here I am in the home section of root and my installation folder, I will put it here. So you can set it wherever you want. Just keep in mind that you will have to remember the path to this folder for the rest of the tutorial. So here it's in my home folder. So the path will be this and then Gaussian online install. This will be the path I will have to remember for the rest of my installation. The fifth step is to change to the C shell. So C shell is usually already installed, but if you're not sure, try to install it by typing yum install csh and you will see if it, if it installs. Me, I already have it. So I can switch to CSH just by typing C shell, like that. This changes the way your terminal will read instructions as Gaussian installation scripts are written in C and not in bash. Step number six is the creation of the Gaussian root folder variable. So now that we're in the C shell, we can set the variable G09 root to follow the pathway of the Gaussian installation folder. This is an important step because in the installation script, Gaussian checks this variable. I don't think it can have a different name, so you exactly have to type this followed by the, followed by the pathway to your installation folder. Now you can travel to the folder by just typing cd dollar sign g09 root. And you, will run, and you immediately go inside the folder. So follow this, uh, this pathway 
and, uh, and copy in this folder uh, the file for the Gaussian installation. So for me, it's just right above. This is this. Up. And I copy it here. Once it's copied, we can go to step number eight, which consists in opening the archive by typing tar xvzf and the name of the tar. So if you check now, you see that it has created a new folder called G09. This is where everything for the installation is. So the first thing you need to do once the extraction is done is to change the owning group of this folder to the group you created in step two. To do so, we type change group. And it changes everything to G09. Okay, once it's done, you can check that it has changed it here. And now it's G09 instead of 301. So for step 10, you just enter inside this folder, G09. And in here, there is all of the installations and, uh, and softwares to run Gaussian. The 11th step is the execution of the installation script from Gaussian. So you simply type dot slash bsd slash install and it should tell you immediately install completed successfully here. So if it's not the case, then you have an error. So for me, I ran into three different errors when I tried to do it. If it gives an error that says install completed successfully, but before that, so like that, but before that it says a bunch of errors, it means that you have to run the command bsd install uh, with sudo. If it says run this script in the g09 directory, it means that you're not running from g09 that has just been extracted and you cannot run install from bsd. So if you, for example, did cd bsd and then dot slash install, then it will say run this script in the GO9 directory. So you must be in this directory, which is, I remind you, in the GO9 root variable here. You have the GO9 directory and you must go inside it. If it does not say anything at all, it means that you probably missed a step before and forgot one pseudo command, for example, and it did not tell you there was a problem. So you should start again carefully following the instructions. I recommend logging as root in order to be sure that you never have permissions problems. So now that installation is completed successfully, we, go, we move to the 12th step. And the 12th step is the creation of the scratch folder. So you decide whether you, wherever you want to put the uh, the scratch folder, for me, I like to have it in documents. So I go inside documents and I create my folder scratch. You can put it wherever you want, but once again, you need to remember the pathway for the next step. The scratch folder is actually where Gaussian stores all of the files he uses for specific calculation and that you did not have to save. So this is temporary file and it will delay it uh, after every computation if it went well. Now that we've made the scratch folder, we're almost done. So step 13 consists in setting the initialization of Gaussian for the machine. And every new user has to, use, has to do it. So to do so, you go back to your home folder. And we're going to edit a hidden file called dot bash underscore profile. So you get your favorite text editor and edit the dot bash profile.
here you go to the bottom and you want to add the following lines so here i already have added them so just a comment for me to remember so this is the gaussian initialization sequence so the first step is g is setting the variable g09 root as we did before so the same pathway then setting the scratch directory here i put it in documents and scratch g09 root is called gaussian online install if i remember correctly then you must export all of these variables for them to be read by the whole computer and set the environment of Gaussian 09. Once this is done, you save and quit the bash profile and you reboot your computer. So once your computer is rebooted, you will be able to run Gaussian by just going to a terminal and typing g09 followed by your input file. If I just type g09, it says entering Gaussian system. Thank you for watching. I hope this was useful for you. I might do another tutorial for an installation Ubuntu. If it is something you would want to see, please tell me in the comments. I will soon publish some tutorials on how to start calculations with Gaussian. Ciao!